Coach, what's up? Hope your day is going great. My name is Sean, and I'm a success coach who specializes in aquatic sports for the company Making Money Coaching Sports, where it's our mission to work with you to make coaching your only job. I'm here to serve the aquatics community, be it swimming clubs, learn to swim programs, water polo clubs, artistic swimming, and any private trainers who want to specialize in aquatic sports. It's time to make money coaching sports, so let's dive in. Hey coach, what's going on? Back here with a little topic that we'd like to cover in terms of, let's see here, zoom it on in. Something that's a problem that people run into is, and, and we, we can't get into this problem. The topic is, are you the cheapest in your area? And is that a good thing? Let's think about it for a second. Are you the cheapest in your area for what you do, be it water polo club, swim lessons, um, learn to swim, swim team, artistic swimming, uh, anything in the aquatics realm. Now, okay, think about it with your competition. Now, think about how you buy stuff on Amazon, right? Are you wanting to buy the cheapest thing or the most expensive thing? Well, something in the middle, probably. But how many of those items are they selling on Amazon to make that money? Thousands, tens of thousands. If I can buy a spatula from China for... 50 cents and sell it for $2, so be it. I just have to sell 20,000 of them to make money. You aren't selling spatulas, right? You're, you are coaching and you are providing a value. Now, being in the cheapest in your area turns your business into a commodity. You don't want to be a commodity because commodities, basically, it's winning to the bottom. The winner, whoever goes lowest price wins. And then, you know, like I said, with the spatula. So you should never be trying to beat out your competition with a lower price. You're the coach. You set the price on what you think your value is. Do not look at anyone else's prices. And if someone brings up someone else's prices, all you have to go is, well, you can go co-play with them. But I think I provide an amazing value for what we do. And this is our price, right? You have a value that you place on your time. As long as you back up that value, then the price should be fine. Um, and if you have, again, you're always, how many clients do you need to get if you have a low, if you keep being cheap, right? You have to get so many clients if you're in, you're basically the cheapest in your area. You'll never have any surplus money to do fun stuff and provide value. The key is you want to have enough money to provide value so that people stay, right? And you can't do any more advertising. That's the one example I put up there. You can do more advertising with extra money and get more clients, right? And doesn't that, but the, if you're, you know, cheaper, you don't have any extra money unless you get another 20 kids, 30 kids. You know, how often can you get kids? There's only so many kids in your area. There's only so many kids that are going to do aquatics in your area. And now everyone is going to learn how to swim, right? So you can maybe, if you really want to try to do that, but I wouldn't do that either. And the last quick message that I want to say here is, and you should all, and if people don't realize this, but they do it anyway. People will associate price with the value. Let that sink in. People will associate price with the value. So are you going to go out? This is a great example I stole from someone else. Um, you know, there's heart surgeons. Yeah. Are you going to go out and be like, ooh, that heart surgeon, he's the cheapest. I think I'm going to go with him. No, you're going you're gonna to want the heart surgeon that might be, you know, the most expensive because you think he probably does the best work because it depends on your life, right? Again, we're not buying spatulas here. So just the quick, don't be the cheapest in your area. Go out of your way not to be the cheapest in your area. Let that sink in. All right, coach, if you want any more information from me, um, look down at the bottom, send me a text in the description below, and see you later.